Welcome back everyone. We were in addition and subtraction of polynomials and we said that two polynomials can be added if and only if they are like terms and like terms are the terms which are uh, with same variables and same powers of variables. So in here we have an example p of x and q of x. We need to find the sum of them and also the difference of them px and q of x. So let us start. For finding the addition, you will write p of x, x to the power of 4 plus 5x cubed minus 7x plus 3. And here you will write q of x. q of x is equal to minus x to the power of 5 plus 4x cubed plus x. And we are going to find the addition or the sum of these two polynomials. We can write here p of x plus q of x is equal to so for finding the addition we say that two polynomials must be uh, two and two polynomials must we must find the like terms we start from the largest power largest power here is five do we have any other x to the power of five here no we do not have so we will write minus two x to the power of five itself and after five we will have four so in here we have x to the power of 4 and in the second polynomial we don't have any x to the power of 4 so write x to the power of 4 by itself and after that we will have x to the power of 3 here we have 5x to the power of 3 here we have 4x to the power of 3 so as you know they are like terms because we have same powers and same variables 5 plus 4 will be what? 5 plus 4 is, of course, 9. x to the power of 3. And after that, we will have x to the power of 2. We do not have x to the power of 2 here. So we'll skip that. Minus 7x and plus x. Here they are like terms. So you can add them. Minus x and minus 7x plus x. Of course, the coefficients minus 7 plus 1 minus 7 plus 1 will be minus 6 minus 6 x and at the last we have a constant term here which x is 0 and we do not have constant term here so write it down here plus 3 so the sum of these two polynomials is the thing like this the polynomial like this and for subtraction the same thing we will write px x to the power of 4 plus 5x to the power of 3 minus 7x plus 3 and for q of x we will write minus 2x to the power of 5 plus 4x to the power of 3 plus x so to find the difference of these two polynomials you must change all the signs of the second polynomial as I said before so in here we have minus it will be plus here is plus it will be negative and in here we have positive will be negative so p of x minus q of x is equal to we start from greatest power greatest power here is 2x to the power of 5 and the sign is plus so plus 2x to the power of 5 and also in here the fourth power is x to the power of 4 the sign is plus you will write it itself x to the power of 4 and now we have the powers 3 here is plus 5x to the power of 3 here we have plus or minus of course minus 4x to the power of 3 be careful here so just add them plus 5 minus 4 will be plus 1 x to the power of 3 and in here we have no x to the power of 2 so escape that 
After that, we will have minus x and minus 7x minus 7x minus x will be minus 8x because they are same signs and plus 3 itself. So as a result, we will have 2x to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 4 plus 1x to the power of 3 will be x to the power of 3 minus 8x plus 3 is the answer for subtraction or difference of these two polynomials. So these were some examples for addition and subtraction of polynomials. If you have any question in this, you can ask me in comments. In the next video, we will talk about multiplication of polynomials. Thank you all.